Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this puzzle. It was recommended by my Facebook fan. Why is it important to learn puzzles? You know puzzles are just another version of algebra but this one attracts more fun and you get to learn different operations in mathematics while dealing with puzzles. So you can see we have different plane shifts here that are connected to different basic operations. We have rectangle, cycle, triangle. But our main target is to find a solution to the last equation. But we cannot find a solution to this last equation unless otherwise we are able to solve these three equations. So let us represent them with some variables. Let's let rectangle stands for x. So this is x. Let this one be y. Let this be z. All this will be equal to z. Already this one has been declared z. This one has been declared as x. This is also x. This is y from the first equation. And this is z. Um, if you consider second equation, it has the same variable. So we can use it to start. z times z times z is equal to 27. z times z is z squared times z is z cubed. So we have z power 3 equals 27. To find the value of z, we can take the cube root of both sides. So we have cube root of z power 3. This is equal to cube root of 27. Cube root will cancel cube. We have z. And what is cube root of 27? You know, um, 27 can be written as 3 power 3. Therefore, this power of 3 will cancel the cube root. Just like this one. So finally, z is equal to 3. This means that the cube root of 27 is 3. You have to think of a number, the same number, that is going to multiply by itself subsequently 3 times to obtain that number under the radical sign. 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Therefore, it is Q root of 27 is 3. So we can replace Z by 3. 3. 3. You can see that 3 satisfies this equation. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Okay. Z is also available in the third equation. So we can use it to find the value of X. From the third equation, we have Z multiplied by X is equal to 6. If you want to find the value of x, you can divide both sides by z so that x equals 6 divided by z. But z has been obtained to be equal to 3. So x is equal to 6 divided by 3. And x is equal to 2 because 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So wherever we see x, we can now replace it by 2. We have this to be equal to 2 and this to be equal to 2. z has already been obtained. This is also equal to 3. Okay, we can go back to this first equation. We have rectangles multiplying each other. And lastly, multiplied by a uh, cycle. But what is this rectangle? It has been obtained to be equal to 2. So we have x multiplied by x multiplied by y. These are 2s. Okay, this is equal to 16. This must be equal to 16 as well. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Multiplied by y is equal to 16. Therefore, y alone is equal to 16 divided by 4. Because 4 is multiplying to the left, to the right it will divide. It will do the opposite. Finally, y is equal to 4 because 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So what y represent is cycle. And this is equal to 4. This is also equal to 4. This has been obtained to be equal to 2 from here. So all the three equations has been solved. So we can use the information here to solve for the third equation. Okay, I have forgotten to replace this z, which is equal to 3. So what do we do? We are going to simplify the last equation. But remember, you have to apply board mass. You just can't add 2 to 4. You have to start multiplying before addition. 
So let's see what happened. We have 2 plus 4 multiplied by 3. You have to start with this multiplication before addition because this is board mass bracket which is absent this is older in case when you have powers like um, rest of the power of 2 power of 3 in that order or if you have roots like cube root square root even logarithms they're all under this orders division and multiplication you know you have to do them together starting with the one that comes first if you see division before multiplication from left to right you have to start with division and vice versa but this time around we only have multiplication we don't have division so we start with multiplication and you can see addition and subtraction comes to the end so this time this is 12 you know we have plus 2 and this is equal to 14 so the whole everything here is equal to 14 the last equation is equal to 14 and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye